Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie and She. In this video on my channel, we are going to discuss a very important part about tables, which is sorting them in the proper order. A lot of time when there is a hierarchy in the way the fields are pulled into in a table, your sorting order is somehow distracted because of the groups that Tableau create. So we are going to decode how you can repeat all the labels in a table and then sort the table in such a way so that you're able to sort it in the descending or ascending order and have the desired output as you would want on the table. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. As usual, our first step here is to go ahead and connect to our data source. In this case, we are using the sample superstore data. So I'm just picking that up here. Now we'll pull in a few columns and create a table. So for that, I'm pulling in segment onto my row shelf. Next, I'll pull in the product as well onto the row shelf. And since I have the category here, I'll go ahead and expand and show the subcategory as well. And then I'll pull in the order ID. So as you can see, there are more than one orders under each of these subcategories and segments. Next, I also want to have a simple measure. So I'm pulling in the sum of sales onto my column shelf. And I'm also going to pull that in onto my label so that I can see the sales value on the labels next to the bar charts. I'm sorting this in the descending order. As you can see, this is sorted. But as soon as a new segment or a subcategory appears, the sorting breaks, right? So this is exactly my concern. I don't want my sorting to break when a new subcategory is coming. I want every label to be repeated, each of the segment category and subcategory to be repeated and my bars to be sorted in a proper way, even if there is a hierarchy over here. So for that, I'm adding up an index formula in my row shelf, as you can see by double clicking here. Now this is a continuous, so I'm going to change this to discrete and move this to the front just before the segment in the row shelf. As you can see now, I have the repetitions of each and every labels here, which is segment, category and subcategory, which was earlier merged. Now the index column is created. However, the sorting is still not how I'm expecting it to be, right? So for us to be able to fix that, we will need to do some changes in how the index value is being calculated over here for that. Even if you change the sorting order through the sort options of any of these columns, it will not help you in the way how this is sorted currently, right? I'm just quickly going to show you an example here. If I'm going to sort this by order IDs, the count of order IDs, my sorting is still the same. It's not changing as how I want it to be. So I, for that, I have to change the way my index is being calculated here. So what I'm going to do here is I click on index and go ahead and click on edit table calculation. When this new window pops up for the edit table calculation, compute using the specific dimension and sort order needs to be mentioned here properly. So under sort order specific dimension, just go ahead and choose custom and then pull in your sales, which is your measure. And once you do that, and sort it using the descending order of the sum of sales value, you will see how your index value is changed now. And each and every order is sorted by the value of the sales. So you can see now in between the segments, you can see the new segments also coming in and the sorting as you will see is now proper. This is exactly what we are expecting out of a sort. Now, however, if you look at this table here now, uh, I need to do a little bit formatting. So first let's remove some of the column dividers and also remove any column grid lines that are over here. So I'll just quickly change some of these things over here. Next, we don't need the index column as such to show, right? So what you can do is click on the index and uncheck show header. Now the index column is no longer visible and you have your no normal simple table here. You can adjust the height, the width of each of these columns. The rows also could be a little longer. You can change that and you can also pull in the sum of sales onto your color. Shelf. I'm just going to make sure a little bit more aesthetic changes are done to this table. So I'm updating the formats of the header. 
making sure that it is center aligned and also the fonts are as in what I expect it to be. Now I'm pulling in the sum of seals onto my color shelf and we have our simply sorted table which is looking exactly how we want with repeated labels. So anytime you are struggling with sorting a particular thing, just make sure you use the index function that's available in Tableau. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit on the like button. Do subscribe to my channel. I keep coming up with a lot of videos. I hope this is really helpful for my Tableau community. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.